what's up everybody and welcome back to Skyrim VR with me, Duquesne, your Brit, in a virtual reality headset. And we are just on our way back to the Bard's College once once we've found Sony the horse, wherever she's gone. Because we've got a poem to rewrite the uh, verse, whoever's verse it is, someone's verse, and it has to be rewritten. And we're going to do it. I'm going to make it as bloody ridiculous as possible. As ridiculous as the beautiful landscapes that I see before me. It is so lovely. I love coming back into here. And thank you to all of you for your fantastic comments, by the way. It's lovely to have your likes and feedback. It reminds me that the, this is all worth doing. Some of you have been ever so nice to me in the Facebook group saying how you watch this with your friends and your family. And that's amazing. So shout out to you guys because you are the best people on, on the planet. The best people on the YouTubes. Now, do any of you remember where I left Sony? Because I totally don't. Uh-oh, Necromancers. That's probably worse. Found bow. And now you die. I'd move, but I have a dog. Oh, no. I mean, oh, you're going to resurrect him, are you? I mean, what did I expect? You're Necromancers. That was silly of me. Oh, don't come too close when I've got my thing sheathed. When, it's, when my bow is out, I can accidentally strike at anything I see, including friends and allies. Where is the horse? I don't know where she's gone. I didn't leave her that far either. Wow, look at that. There's like a cloud next to me. Ah, oh, I disappeared. That would have been amazing. We're still in Skyrim. <laughs> oh, it's a woolly mammoth. Not what we're looking for, but still. <laughs> it's very horse-like. <laughs> it looks like a horse from a very, very long way away. Okay, I'm now on top of a mountain, and I don't think I'm on top of the same mountain either. Which isn't helping. Okay, looks like we're just going to make our way back to Solitude, which luckily we can see from here is literally perched on the cliff in front of us. And hopefully we'll just come across... Ow! We'll come across Sony on the way. We might as well run. It's been a long time since we've been without a horse entirely. So, this will be nice. After all, we don't use fast travel. We're above fast travel. We treat the world as a real place. And so it should be treated as a real place, because it's amazing! This is probably the most realistic thing there is to have a look round. I'm worried, because these are very dense woodlands that I haven't really been through before. There might well be some nasty things in here. Okay, a road. Roads are good. We can actually follow this. Uh, oh, is this just the other side of the swamp? I think it is. We can just go straight through and up the other side. That's not so bad. We don't have to worry about the roads at all. As the crow flies, or as the aracocra flies, if we were in D&D. &D. Yes, I said it correctly. Ah, spider! No, where is it gone? Okay, the tree saved me. Thank you, nature! <laughs> You're welcome. Nature's just the best. Ah, oh, look at that! It's so big! I love looking at... Oh, for God's sake, what wants to kill me? The dog will deal with it. You deal with it. Go kill whatever it is that's attacking me. I'm looking at nature in all of its infinite wonder. <laughs> with all the lightning and other nature going on in the background. But I do love the wildlife in Skyrim. It's just the best thing. The way that things glow and light up and... It really does make you feel like you are in a place. Considering how many VR games are already out now, nothing really still compares to this. Oh, it was a spider. Just another spider. But nothing compares to this still. It's still very much the best VR experience for just feeling immersed. There's everything. Water, swimming, bugs, wildlife, shopping, commerce. Anything your heart desires in fantasy format. Including stuff like that. Which is stunning. Don't worry, I'm an Argonian. I'm sure you knew that, but I'm an Argonian. Uh-oh. Electrocute anything that comes near. We might even see him. Yes, there he is over there. Lightning flying in as he attacks slaughter fish. Wizard fishing! Jizargo does enjoy a bit of wizard fishing. Officer? We haven't done anything wrong here yet. Oh, thank God. Go check out the other episodes if you want to see the messes that we have. I mean, we're banned from a lot of places. <laughs> we are uh, not liked 
in the world of Skyrim. I'm just a lonely archmage. I'm not the Dragonborn. I have avoided all shouts, although I do pick them up. I can't use them because I haven't been to the Greybeards. We, we avoided that in like episode two because I'm just a guy. And when I became the Archmage, I went to better myself across the land of Skyrim and all of its holds, along with Jizargo, wherever he's gone, to just learn all the magics of the world. And so far, it has been quite a trip, hasn't it, boys and girls? Hello? You all right? You look a bit... a little bit stuck. I'll leave you to it. <laughs> Don't want to interfere. He knows what he's doing. It's probably a, a, a clever trap to catch a bandit. <laughs> ah, solitude! I nearly, I'm nearly there! In! Yay! Solitude. We can now finally get to the Bard's College. I might just cut to the Bard's College. In fact, I will. Cut to the Bard's College, because I have that kind of power. The Bard's College! Here we are! And as uh, you may have noticed, it looks almost daytime again because the whole world is lit up because of a yellow and gold aurora... an aurora... an aurora... a yellow and gold aurora borealis is taking place above us. And it's actually almost as bright as daytime, which is pretty insane. I thought I'd better mention it before we went in because then it might not be there when we come back out. Although the aurora borealis is very common, in the land of Tamriel, certainly up in Skyrim. You don't normally see it in that many different colours. You see it in blue and you see it in purple. I don't think I've ever seen it in like red and gold like that before. Okay, where do we go to hand this in? Do do that way. There you are! I found your book! Now, let's take a look at this. Don't be disappointed, but it seemed like bits might be missing. Oh no! This won't do at all. Bardic verse has come a long way since ancient times. <laughs> Bardic verse has come a long way since ancient times. I know, right? Like, 50 Cent has really moved us all on, hasn't he? <laughs> I don't think so. You say there are bits missing, can't we just make up the bits that aren't there? Make it up? Like, I don't know. It's okay, just run it by me, and we'll help make it up together. I'm sure us and the people at home would love oh, that. Olaf, our subjugator, the one-eyed betrayer, death-dealing demon and dragon-killing king, your legend is mm -hmm. lies, mm -hmm. lurid, and false. Mm -hmm. Your cunning capture of Numenex, a con for See, the See, I've read ages. this bit. Olaf found him asleep. Olaf made a deal with Numenex the dragon. Olaf was Numenex, a dragon in form! Oh yes! I find that highly unlikely. But... The court will love it. I'm sure they will. We love it. Next. Olaf grabbed power by promise and threat. It's wonderful having it read to us like this by a professional. You are ever so good. Do you consider becoming a storyteller? Olaf ordered disguised troops to attack Solitude. He convinced Solitude to attack Winterhold. Olaf sacked it in dragon form. What? Totally? He turned into a dragon no, and killed them all. That's pushing it too far. No, it's Very not. Exciting, but... Of course you can. Have some adventure. Damn it. Okay, he was just he disguised his troops and attacked. And they got the orders backwards. <laughs> yes. Ah, yes. That sounds I'm hilarious to you. <laughs> it should be good for a laugh. I prefer the course. dragon <laughs> option. I'm always going to prefer the dragon option. <laughs> Oh good, so it's all sorted. There's only two little bits. That's not ridiculous, but, you know. Still, King Olaf was a dragon now. <laughs> we win! <laughs> We've changed history, Jizargo. We're monsters. I think we have to follow him. I have no idea, so I'm just going to follow him. I think he is the marker. And we'll see if our wonderful Aurora Borealis is still in the sky. It is! That's quite unusual. Okay, so we'll just follow this guy. We'll have a stroll. No, don't don't let me stop you. Come on, let's just walk together. Or is he not? He's not going to walk whilst we're with him. So we're going to have to sort of meander ahead. I assume he's just going to this building. So to the courthouse where the princess was. My god, that is stunning. It really does look like England, all of this. I said it in the other episode, but I don't think I made it clear. Like, this is just... It looks like Westminster Abbey or something. Very Harry Pottery with all the with all the domed ceilings and archways. It could easily be um, a back street in London. Any of this, love it. 
Solitude is very quickly becoming one of my favourite places, and I never thought it would. Are we breaking in? I mean, it is like night time. It, I think the door said it was open. I hope we're not breaking in. We're not breaking in. It's fine. It must be. Please let it be fine. <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble. Okay, I think we're alright. Is he coming? Oh, he's so slow. We might as well just go and wander. Assuming he's coming in here. He better be. Oh yeah, we had to do the Shiogorath stuff as well. Requires a key. Uh, there was a bloke. There's a guy somewhere, isn't there? Are you coming? Oh, just get on with it. Come on. But there is a madman somewhere that we need to speak to. And I'll keep an eye out for him when we get back outside. And hopefully we'll be able to then do the Shiogorath stuff. Because that'll be bloody hilarious. And we can turn people into chickens. And chickens into dragons! Which is quite a power to have. That will get us killed very quickly. Are you just in the waiting room? What's happening? Are we ready? I think my voice is ready. Good. Get on with it. They are slow. I mean, it's realistic. I'm very much here. I mean, wonderful, isn't it? I'll just hang out, lean against this stone pillar. I'm just going to look cool. I'm the guy that found it. Yeah, you know, when he calls back over his shoulder and they go, Well, who went on this dangerous mission? I'll go, huh, That'll be me, Your Majesty. Wherever she is. Oh, I mean, look away, look cool. Don't, no direct eye contact. Oh yeah, this is all because we want to burn an effigy. We do that here. We love burning effigies in England. It's like our second favourite festival. You've got Christmas and then bonfire night. Or, you know, Guy Fawkes to the rest of the world. Coincidentally, my birthday. Ta -da. <laughs> if you were really interested. Death dealing demon and dragon killing king, your legend is lies, lurid, and false. Olaf was Numenex in human form. <gasps> Shock everybody, he was a dragon! How unexpected! They all look surprised, I thought they'd all be shocked by that news. We leveled up! Oh yeah, we leveled up like an episode ago. Yeah, they're not interested, are they? Desargo and Vigilance are just like, I'm going to have a sleep and I'm going to do some stretches because killing will come. And don't you worry, Desargo, killing will come. We made, an, uh, we made a promise to destroy this city and burn it to the ground for its hubris against us when we first arrived. And burn down it shall, once we've drained it of all of its resources. Or at least enough of them to be satisfied. Yay, we proved our point. He didn't mention us, though, so me standing here looking awesome was kind of by the by. No, no credit at all. Your Majesty. Your Majesty, I've got my hand up. I've got a question. God. Who, 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 pray tell, who was it that found the verse? Pray tell, who, who, who found the verse? No, no one's asking. <sighs> yeah, it is. It's unbelievable how much credit you take. <laughs> this menu's a bit in the way. Um, does that mean I'm a bard now? <laughs> Soon. Soon. They must be done properly. I'm a dungeon master, I know. You can't just become... Well, you can just become a bard, but you, uh, you have to be multi-classing. But, you know, I'm not multi-classing. I'm just an Argonian. And a mage. And apparently now a bard. More importantly... Let's level up. Bing! To the Space Museum of Stats. Um, health is really low, but we don't generally die all that often. But still, it, it seems correct to be the next thing we do. We don't heal very often either. Ooh, let's have a look at what's around us. Diddle D. Lock picking, pickpocket speech. We don't do much talking either. We're more of a killy person than a chatty person. Alchemy. Illusion. What's in there? I don't really do these very much. Illusion spells for half magic. Calm now works on a greater level. Uh. Apprentice illusion magic. I don't really use any. We've kind of just stuck to conjuration. Maybe maybe I should just stick to it. Greater duration for reanimated undead. Cool, but I don't really use undead. I'm no necromancer. Ooh, contradiction orcs. Oh, I think we've already got that one. And we certainly can't get that one yet. How many points have we got? Just the one. Maybe we could go into destruction or something. 
What do we do not very much of, but we want to? I'd like to do some enchanting. It would be nice, yeah. We'll get into enchanting and this will get us started on that. Da -da, it is written in the stars. Okay. Next time I see a place that we can do some work on some enchanting, we shall do that and hack away at some of those skills. Because I really haven't done that enough. I just haven't. Do we immediately do the burning or does something happen now? Do we go back in? God, there's a lot of back and from. I don't want to go in and out and in and out. I want to be sent on a deadly mission to slaughter some things. But I think now we have to do the damn festival. Oh, actually, stuff this. <laughs> I have a better plan. Let's go look for this madman. I was told by you kind folks that he is at the beginning of solitude somewhere, at the uh, sort of opening plaza. Whoop! My, master. He is lost between worlds. my God! Did you come to me? Is it the fate? Even see me? Wouldn't it be great if I could go in your place? His vacation, is that what he calls it? Won't you please help? I am totally going to help. Give me the key. Give me the key. But no the Blue Palace, you say? Why, what a no, coincidence! No, I've just been there! No. Oh, and you'll need the hippo. It's very important. No inner Yay! Wing Good, that. we've got the Pelagius' wing hip bone. As you do. I thought it was a key, but he definitely said hip bone. I'm gonna feel really silly if it comes up key when I'm editing this, because I heard. I heard hip bone. <laughs> Blooming egg! That is amazing! Where the auroras kind of lit up the moon, you can see the black bit. Because obviously, like, you can see the black bit on our moon, on Earth, if you look on, like, a, a half moon. If, you, if it, like, there are stars around it, because it blocks out the stars, and you can make out the rest of the moon. But it's amazing when it's on that sort of scale. To the Pelagius wing. Pelagius is this, this, this wing. Is this it? Quires a key. But, but he gave me the key. He gave me the key. It cannot be picked, so somebody has a key. Who, who has a key? Do you have a key? Will you give me the key? Why have you got a marker above your head? You've got nothing to do with it. Oh, how are we supposed to deal with that? Who are you? You, come here, strange lady. Please, I need to get into the Pelagus ring. Oh, I'd get in trouble for that. It's not no, I bet you would, but I'd really like to go. Mm, Falk, the bloke upstairs, asked me to check it out. It'll be fine. We can just lie about this. I suppose in that case, it's okay to let you in. Yes, it is. Be careful and come right back. I will. I mean, it's only a corridor. Sweet, that wasn't so hard. And there was me dithering around thinking we were going to have to kill him. ta -da! This is... A mess. Summon some stuff, because I know we don't need to, but the bow is really useful for actually breaking like stuff like this. If it'll let us. I really thought we could smash that down, it would just break. Things just break normally. Ooh, none of that. We'll get rid of all of that. I don't like spiders. I doubt there are any. There wouldn't be monsters inside the blue palace. Oh, is that where it starts? Oh, I'm excited now. Something really weird. Ah. Ow, why am I hurt? Ah, woo! Right so That's so cool! So That's so trippy! I'll take a seat. Buffoons, oh, that's amazing. You are I'll, far too hard I'll take yourself. the apple pie. Dear, sweet Yum! You are the best septum that's ever ruled. Yay! Here, here! Best septum that's ever ruled. More drink! You're not drinking. I'll refill your glass. A ba no, I don't want a baked potato. Goblet, there. Let me refill your glass. There we go. There we go. There we go. See, there we go. We just moved that. Oh no! I wanted you didn't. You forgot your drink. Can't be bothered to host Literally how rude. I couldn't agree with you more, my friend. I mean, I'll have it. Cheers. I'm Can't here to deliver a message. To 
Really? Really? Oh, oh, what kind of message? A song. No. A summons. Wait, I have uh, just become a bard. The Wabatak. Huh? Hmm? Uh, didn't see that coming, did you? I haven't got anything yet. Was equipped, but I don't have anything. Oh yes, I do. There we go. There's the Wabajack. That was quick. No, I didn't quite expect that. What can I do with it? Just go and do things. Okay, I'll be back. What if I shoot you? I'm busy doing a fish stick. It's a very Nothing. Of course. What about the cheeses? No. I really thought perhaps the cheeses would evolve into super cheeses. Oh, you never good know. Choice. Well, good for me. Oh God, there's a voice in my head. Out to get you so God, it is weird with all the <laughs> smoke and fog that sort of clears so. away as you get to places. You see, Pelagius's mother was wow. Let us say unique. Although I suppose, uh, in the grand scheme of that's things, that's amazing. Was really average for a septum. That woman. Okay, that's genuinely awesome. Like I'm clean. taking a seat. Woo! Kill him. Right. Ooh, do it again. Do the explosion -y thing. That's cool. The danger could come from anywhere at any time. Anyway, die. Objective here is simple. Eat each other and and all the rest of it. Use your to defeat the enemy. And we're that much closer. I think it's back to where we came. I just want the stick. Oh, I'm a stick now. The detail on these things is just astonishing, really. Like, each mouth is actually different as well. They're not all identical. Which is bizarre. And also, I never noticed. One's screaming, one's shouting, one's kind of happy and laughing. Huh. Onwards. We'll go over the hill. I feel like... Oh, no, we can't. Okay, apparently we're not allowed. I suppose this is a special area. It has invisible walls. You, Pelagius, suffered night terrors from a young age. I suffered night All terrors. All you need to do is find something to wake our poor oh, Pelagius no. up. You'll find his terrors easy to repel. What happened? Persistent. Oh, are you attacking me? Okay, you're not attacking me. I've got to stop the dog. No? Did I miss? Or do I just hit him? Or do I hit something else? A tree. The bed. His dreams. His face. Me. This is bad. Hit the dog. Okay, it's a goat. Goat's not so bad. A child and a goat. Ah, oh, now it's nice. Your turn. Next. I see we've got a lightning him and that makes stuff. Ow! Stop it. Be a nice wife. <laughs> Stop being a monster and be a wife. Oh no, it's a Babs! She's turned against me! Impossible. I mean, they're dancing around a fire. That can't be brilliant. That can't be a good start. Oh my god, it's a dragon priest. Well, I'm gonna say, you can't really miss. I'd be dead in like a few about. seconds if With I hadn't killed it. About, you're moving right along. Yay! Turn into something that. awesome. No, you're fixed. Okay, next! Assassins, oh, wild it's dogs, Goliath. It's David and Goliath. Let's deal but with the David first. Hatred was and then make nice. Goliath smaller. The attacks he makes on oh, himself. Or we'll just kill them both. Here fully. Oh no! Ghosts? Ghosts are bad, aren't they? Stop fighting each other! No, stop fighting me! Wonderfully done! Pelagius is finally ready to love himself. Yay! Oh. I made you the wrong size, my friend. Are you alive? Are you dead? Are you a ghost? Are you being attacked by ghosts? Are you okay? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to give you a push. Can I speak to you? Got something to say? You have the most beautiful blue eyes. It's like staring into the ocean. I'm sorry, I must tear myself away. I'm actually inside your head. I didn't expect you to speak to me. Goodbye, my friend. I was never going to hit him. <laughs> For just a second, I thought I might pull this off. No. No. Well, if you don't mind, I will be... Sure no. I'll take a goblet with me, actually. Why not? A goblet from here. A dream goblet. There. Stop doing magic when I'm here. Give me warning. Does this mean we're going home? Oh, happy times. Feel free to keep the Wabajack. Yay! Now I can do this whenever I want. Die, cabbage. Ah, protected by... 
Candelabra. Curse you, Candelabra. This goblet shall be your last. There we go. I got my vengeance before we left. Level 21! And we've only, we're only on episode 60, 70 something. It's ridiculous how much we've played. It's insane. This whole thing is just mental. Love it. Down, 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 down. I'm getting dizzy. Ah. Ooh. Is there anything down here? Is this just where he was living? Thief of Virtue. Let me tell the tale of the Thief of Virtue. In the land of Hammerfell in the city of Salt, there lived a baron who was quite wealthy. He was a noted collector of rare coins. The Baroness Villuqui found the whole thing quite tedious. However, she did appreciate the lifestyle that the Baron's wealth provided. Maybe we will read this when we get back to our house, because I was going to say this feels like a proper book, but I'll be taking it. No, I don't want to rest. I rested. Never mind. Back in the real world, we will take the book. I think that really is all that's down here. It's always worth. Really? Deary me, we have become overweight. And I think I hit the dog, but I didn't mean to. We can dump some weapons though, because a lot of these weapons are awful. We never use any of them now. There we go, we must be fine. Sorry. Back out the way we came. I'd love to play the Amnesia games in um, VR. For some reason, walking down these corridors here make me think of Amnesia Machine for Pigs. I wouldn't enjoy that in VR, that would be too much. I really don't know if I could play that one. Amnesia Machine for Pigs is like... the game that can kill me. It scares me so much, even though I've taken it apart, I've edited it, I've built little mods for it for a laugh. I know how the entire thing operates, inside out. I know where every trigger is, I know where most of the code goes, and yet it still just freaks me the hell out. <laughs> And if that ever comes to VR on PSVR, you are, um, goodness. Goodness me, I don't know what I'd do. <laughs> Freedom with the Wabberjack, which is awesome. Now we have the tools to make this city truly suffer. Because what can make a city suffer more than just accidentally managing to get three dragons into it? Perhaps we will do it at the festival, the Bard Festival. The burning of King Olaf will be the event. That is where the Wabberjack will be used. And they will all remember the day of King Olaf's verse for a new reason. As the day the Duke and the Archmage summoned three or four or as many dragons as possible into the world of solitude. They will all perish and burn in the purifying flames. But for now, that will have to do, because we've done loads this episode, and I've got to go and find Sony. I'm assuming that she's at, um, out front, and she's probably appeared at one of the stables and is being looked after by one of these wonderful folk who are willing to look after her for free until we turn them all to dust in the next episode. So thank you very much for joining me. If you liked any of that, hit the like button. If you haven't already, consider becoming a subscriber, because it really makes me feel better and gives me that little boost to know that you'll want more videos and things to do. Leave a comment down below. Hit the bell icon because then you won't miss a video when they go up because I go live as well, which means that I'm in the chat and you'll be able to talk to me as we're doing this. And I will see you all in the next glorious episode of Skyrim VR.